Hey Dave, come here quick, there's something you gotta see. That man has got a dancing bear tied up to that old tree. And it's dance, dance, the cold to dance all around the country store. Me and sweet Betty ain't never seen a bear that can dance before. Well, it's a one step, two step, three step, four. Follow the code to any dance some more. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, the Mac of All Trades, and I'm back with a life update. Yes, y'all, a life update. So back in September slash August, somewhere around there, I had posted a video about what was going on um, in my life with an ex-boyfriend from now over two years. And um, I don't think anymore I can say on YouTube his actual like full name, but um, his name's Leo, so I can at least say that. Okay, so for any of you new here on my channel, I'm going to link down below um, the videos um, before this from over the like summer slash fall explaining this whole situation. But to break it down into a very simple nutshell, um, this fool was frauding me um, basically almost our entire relationship using my name, my social security number to run a um, very successful um, social media management business called The Social Inspector, which I can say that because uh, um, I guess under legal or not legal, but under um, the federal government, I technically own that business, but uh, didn't know I did. Um, so anyway, he used my social security number and name, all this mess. Uh, frauding all these home inspectors, making them think that his name's Bremer Lego, Lego Bremer, like all these different names. Anyway, um, that way he could um, cash in and uh, make over $250,000 a year tax free. Um, so, you guys, life update with that situation. Uh, the federal government has caught on. Um, let's see, back in, I want to say December, I, the, you guys, this is my, um, this is my binder. This is the amount of, uh, proof I sent to the IRS because just as I suspected, um, with him using my name and my social security number, um, I filed a bunch of different, um, claims, uh, with the IRS, with, you know, all of that, all of that, all of that, with the, uh, Kansas State Attorney General, like, I filed claims with everybody I could think of. I'd even, uh, asked for your guys' opinions of things I could do, and I went and did those as well. So, uh, back in December, I received a letter from the IRS. So... Back in um, December, or late November, early December, I received a uh, letter from the IRS claiming that I owe $32,232 in taxes for the year of 2020. You heard me right about uh, $32,000 in taxes. Um, you can imagine how I felt when I got that letter. Um, this fool um, used a Square account that he opened that I had no idea in my name with my social security number and processed... Um, 97, over 97,000, 97, $97,571 through that square in one year. Um, and then owes taxes on that of 32,000. You guys, if you hear snoring, that's just my pug. He is my shadow. But yeah, you guys, so, um, I got that letter and I had to have a response to them by the end of, um, December, 2022. 
Um, you can imagine um, all the things that were going through my head. Um, I totally lost my shit. How? How? So, um, I had to, you know, spend all my free time gathering up information to send to the IRS. So I sent them copies of everything I could think of. I had a, uh, it was like an old client list that go back into the other videos from this, you know, laptop. I feel like it's, you know, one of those laptops, uh, you know, what I'm getting at. Um, so, uh, I had this old client list sent the IRS a complete list of clients. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's hope that these clients some of them know um exactly what's going on and um are continuing to do business with him but uh because they're just shady people but um uh let's hope the irs comes after them too because i did turn in everybody's information so everybody that i had sent a letter to because I told you all I was sending letters to all of these clients letting them know what was going on best believe I sent all of your information to the IRS um, that included you know phone numbers emails um, the square accounts you were using to uh, pay your bill through the social inspector names all that mess. I sent it all to the IRS so they could knock on your door or call you up and want to know the deets. So um, I spared no expense in throwing anybody and everybody who does business with the social inspector under under the 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 bus, so to speak. Um, and so, yeah, so now it's just a waiting game. Um, they sent me a letter back that not only were they going to be um, looking into the 2020 taxes, they were going to be looking into 2021 taxes as well as 2019 um, because of all this stuff he's doing. So um, his time will come, you guys. I am... Uh, Hoping it's sooner rather than later, but the IRS did say that it could take 360 days for them to investigate this. And I'm like, why didn't you add just another five days on to that and make it a year? Why say 360 days? But whatever. Um, so yeah, you guys, that is kind of the life update of where that situation is at now. I did, uh, I, I, I did put like a, I guess, freeze or whatever on my social security number. I put um, fraud alerts um, on everything. Uh, uh, everything that you could put fraud alerts on, I put a fraud alert on it. I filled out all kinds of uh, uh, forms and submitted forms for uh, identity theft. So um, I'm pretty sure his day will come. Um, within this year, you know what I mean? So, uh, also he's trying to, uh, play this disability card with the, the state and the federal government and trying and had some kind of, uh, a hearing, I guess, coming up, trying to get disability. Like this fool's the ultimate con artist. Um, and so I, uh, submitted, um, paperwork and everything like that to and video evidence uh to the state um for his disability like proving that he's not disabled he can go get a real job that he is working a real job he's just not telling anybody else that he's saying that I'm working that damn job well uh let me tell you now if I was making two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year I definitely wouldn't be living in the house I'm living in because um, even though my it may look nice, it's the stuff inside of it that makes it look nice. It is unreal the lengths that he will go to to try and just evade the system. And you guys, this is all because he doesn't want to pay child support. 
because he wants every penny to himself. I have found out that he hasn't even seen his daughter, uh, his youngest daughter in like a year almost. So, um, that shows you, you know, how much, um, his daughter meant to him, you know, he kept it up for a while, but I guess since I think maybe because she was getting older or maybe she could speak up, um, that, um, you know, that relationship wasn't working for him. So he exed that one. Guys, because um, it's not fair. That's our tax dollars that we pay for. And he is just milking it. And he, or not not necessarily milk, milking it, but using it to for his own personal gain when he doesn't need to. He has this very successful business that he should just run in his own name and pay his own damn taxes. That's exactly what he should do instead of using like my information to where, um, you know, I potentially could owe $32,000 in taxes because I ain't got $32,000. But um, best believe if um, it comes back that the IRS is not going to. And that's one thing that I'm scared about, though, is that the IRS is not going to 100% fully investigate um, to the fullest extent. You know what I mean? I don't have a lot, a whole lot of faith in the federal government as a whole and so um it it makes me question whether they will really um fully investigate everything and so you know if it does come back that um that they're saying that we couldn't find anything whatever blah 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 then um best believe I'll be getting a lawyer and and then there's going to be a huge lawsuit because um technically since I own this company called The Social Inspector, um, all the money he's been making from him it, and me not seeing a dime of it would be called embezzlement. And so that's, that's federal jail time. And not only that, but, you know, stealing my identity and racking up these tax bills and God knows what else. Like, um, you guys, yeah, uh, he's looking at eventually prison time. Um, and, uh, you know, I know a lot of people are like, why do you want to air your dirty laundry over here on, you know, YouTube? Uh, because I'm an open book, number one. And number two, uh, there may be somebody else out there that this same exact shit is happening to, and they may want to know what to go do. And so maybe this video can be helpful for that person. And not only that, I know for a fact that um he probably comes over here and watches these videos or some of his little trolls come over here and watch these videos and so I want to give them all the mess they can to talk about because you know what I do not care because you know what I'm sleeping at night because I ain't doing nothing strange for some change only clean for the green but yeah, you guys, so I just wanted to hop on here and give a little update. I've been meaning to do this video here for a while and um, I will continue to give updates um, about this situation because I'm sure, um, you know, by December I'll have, well, by December I should have an answer on what the IRS has found uh, as far as this identity theft and him, you know, he he owes the IRS $32,000, um, which is no stranger to IRS um, tax levies because he did have his bank accounts levied here like a year or two ago <clears throat> due to tax fraud. So he's no stranger to it. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to hop on here and give a little life update. But uh, thank you everyone who has, you know, in the past videos commented on there. Um, if you don't know what everybody's like, oh my gosh about. Uh, like I said, I will link all of those videos down below for you. So easy access. But yeah, uh, uh, I guess give this video a thumbs up because, you know, you never know um, what somebody is capable of until you're not with them it's really weird how that works right like you don't really know what someone is truly capable of on a scale of being just evil and a terrible person until you are not with them anymore but yeah if you want to stay up to date of you know 
what's going on with this uh go ahead and click that subscribe button um i hope you all like this video give it a thumbs up if you did but uh until then uh i'll see you in the next update bye me and sweet betty ain't never seen a bear that can dance before it's a one step two step three step four follow the go to any dance more dance dance to go to dance all around the country store